Katie? Well, it is an exciting time for many students heading back to school, especially those who are looking ahead to getting their learner's permit and earning their driver's licenses. But that process can be tricky, and parents and teens alike should do their homework when it comes to determining when it's time to get a permit. And here to discuss is AAA automotive expert Skylar McKinley. Thanks for joining us. Now, first of all, I couldn't wait to get my license right when I was 16. It's been a while since then. The rules have changed. What do people need to know? What are the rules? When can you get your license? Right. I didn't wait at all. I went for my learner's permit right when I turned 15. Some students still do that, but not everybody. That's because in Colorado, the rules are a little bit different based off what age you are. So if you're between 15 and 15 and a half, you have to do an in-classroom 30-hour driver's ed course. Mm -hmm. If you're over 15 and a half, you don't have to do that. And if you're 16 and 17, the rules are different. So the problem with kids waiting is they're not getting quite the amount of safety instruction that they are as if when we went and went in right away. Yeah, my mom forced me to take the class. Right. <laughs> All right, it's a little complicated, so what does AAA recommend? No matter your age, you could be 15, you could be 16, you could be 18, you need to take one of these driver's ed courses, and we know it makes you a safer driver. The, the crash incidence rate goes way down for students that take these courses compared to students who don't. Listen, I think we kind of underestimate how complicated and complex a car is. It's like mm -hmm. driving a missile, right? You wouldn't just drive a bulldozer without having instruction. And when it comes to cars, which we spend a lot more time in going a lot faster, you really need that classroom education. Absolutely. Peace of mind, if not anything else, for parents. Right. Uh, so how can they find a good driving school? I think the focus should always be a school that values safety over price or convenience or just giving a student the amount of knowledge to pass a, a driver license test. We're rolling out an approval and inspection process of these things, so look for our logo. But beyond that, look to make sure they have modern equipment that they have drivers who are professionally certified and that they're using textbooks that are a couple years old as opposed to 20 or 30 years old. And remember to take some deep breaths as a parent. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Skylar. Thanks. Colorado has